Any track from your collection can now be separated into stems. To do so, just right click on the track and select Generate Stems. The stem separation can actually happen in the background and can be triggered while a track is currently playing. This is great, especially if you want to separate the stems and transition into another song all while you're doing a mix. Once it's complete, you'll see a new icon showing the stems are available. When you drag a track into the deck and the stems have already been generated, it'll automatically load the stemmed out file. If you want to load the original version, you can hold shift and drag the track into the deck. If you're using hardware, you can also double click the load button. It's also worth mentioning that these default settings can be changed in the preferences under loading. When the track is playing, you can drag the stemmed version into an additional deck and it'll actually play in time and in sync as the original file. This way, you can crossfade between it and start stemming it out. Over here, we have all of our stemmed files. We can start taking them out by clicking this button here. There's just the drums. You have volume control for each one. We also have filters for each stem. Let's turn the filter on the drums. Double click to reset it to the center. And then next to that, we have our send effects. So why don't we go ahead and turn on some effects, have a delay and a reverb. Let's turn those up. So let's say I really like this chopped up vocal stem and I want to mix it with another song. Let's go ahead and start adding some effects. Start bringing out some of these other stem elements. Start filtering those drums. Let's bring in our song. You can also change the default location of where the stem files get saved, so if you want to put it on an external hard drive or a different folder of your computer, you can do this in the preferences under the analyze options. 